Hello everyone, welcome to the video on Arithmetic Ability for Pharma Competitive Exams. In this video, I will explain some of the arithmetic questions given in 2019 ESI Pharmacist exam. The same kind of arithmetic ability questions will be there in Drug Inspector exam as well as University Assistant Professor examinations. So these questions will be useful for you for the preparation. Let us see the questions first. The first question, what would be the next number in the series? The series given is 4, 12, 36, 108. And you need to find out what comes next. Now, such kind of series questions, you need to understand the relationship between one number and another number. Look at the series. This is quite easy one. 4 multiplies 3 gives 12. 4 3 is a 12. 12 3 is a 36. 36 3 is a 108. So the next number would be a multiple of 3 of 108. 108 into 3, 3 is a 24 to 3 1 is a 3. 3 24. Option 3 24 is the correct answer. Okay. Now let us move on to the next question. Now choose the number pair from the given pair which holds analogous relationship. So in the question there is a, a pair of numbers are given 144, 13. First we need to understand the relationship between these two numbers. See we need to we need to develop certain math ability. The moment you see a number you need to identify what it could be. Let's say if I say 16 it is a 4 square, 25, 5 square. Similarly 144 is 12 square. 169 is 13 square, 196 is 14 square. When you when you do math regularly, you will develop these skills. You need a little bit of these skills. So, so the moment you see 144, it is a 12 square. You need to know that. The next one given is 13. Now the relationship is 12 square is the first number, 144. 12 plus 1, 13 is the second number. So first number is squared and to that 1 is added, then you will get the second number. So this relationship you need to figure out from the options. Look at the first option. 169, 12. What is 169? It is 13 square. 13 square is 169. The next one is 13 minus 1. But the in the question tag, what is the relationship? X square. There is a number which is square. The next, is, next number is X plus 1. So here, this is 13 square and 13 minus 1. X minus 1. So this is not true. Now the next one. 324 is to 17. 324 is 18 square. Now 17 is 18 minus 1. Again, this is not true. Third one, 289 is to 16. What is 289? 17 square. 17 square is 289. Again, 16 is 17 minus 1. So this will not, uh, this is not analogous with the question tag uh, pay. The last one, 225 is 15 square. 16 is 15 plus 1. So this x square, x plus 1. This is the relationship. So whenever you see the number, you need to know these things, squares and all these things. When you keep on practicing arithmetic questions, you will develop this ability. Don't worry, it is an easier thing. Now let us move on to the next question. Now see, seven children takes part in carom games context. Each one has to play other one. How many games must they play? So there are seven children are there. Each one has to play a game with other one. Totally how many games will be there? Think about it, see now the World Cup is going on, 10 teams are there. One of the team is India. So India will be playing with other teams, all the other teams. So there will be 9 games. India will be playing, playing 9 games. So 10 teams are there, 1 will play with the remaining other things. So 9 games are there. Similarly, other teams. So same kind of things. see here, 7 children are there. Imagine 7 are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. 7 children are there. So A will play with the remaining 6. So A plays 6 games. Now B, B, C already A has played with B. A to B or B to A, both of them are same. Only one game. A is playing with B means B is also playing with A. So you cannot count that one. B has to play with C, D, E, F, G. How many games are there? 5 games are there. 6 plus 5. And then C. C already A has played with C, B has played with C. So you cannot count that. The remaining games we need to count. C will play with D, E, F, G. 4 games. Whereas D will play with E, F, G. Whereas E will play with F and G. F will play with G because already they have played with the other teams. So you need to count all these things. 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, 21. This is the answer. So this is a general intelligence question. You need to think and then apply it. Everybody knows about World Cup. 10 teams are there. India is one of the teams. It will play 9 games. This is about India. What about the other teams? So similarly, you need to count. If you count like that, you will get the entire total number right similar kind of question is this now the last question 
See, a number x is short of y by 20%. Then what percent is y in excess of x? Understand the question. See, whenever you see a percentage type of question, take 100 as a standard number. That makes calculations very easier. Take x as 100. <clears throat> now, what the question tag says, y is 20% short than x. Out of 100, 20% means you need to remove 20. What are you left with? 80. So, x is 100, y is 80. Now, the question is, what percent of y is in excess of uh, in excess of x <coughs> right see 100 is x right 20 80 is y the question asks how 80 y in excess of x what percent so you need to know the difference between 80 and the x 100 see the difference is 20 now 20 is what part of 80 is one fourth one fourth means 25 percent so you can uh, numerically calculate it, 25% of 80, you will get 20, 80 plus 20 is 100. Think about it, see, when you are going down a bigger number, 100 is there, when you take out 20%, you will be reviewing 20 and you go down to 80. From the 80, if you add 20%, it will be 16. If you add 20% of 80, 20% of 80 is 16, 80 plus 16, it would be 96. But the question is, you need to get back to 100. So for that, you need to add 25%, then it becomes 20, then it goes to 100. So this is how you need to do these uh, questions. I hope this is useful. All the best.